Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I am Pretty Paper Craft 67. And today's video is a flip through of my creative design team project for Sue at Paper Inspirations. Um, I have been using the 49 and Market Products Nature Study and I have created a journal. So I, there are three other parts to this um, design team project. So if you would like to view those, if you haven't already, I can link them all below in the description box. I will also link all the products that I have used or that I received in my um, creative design team kit. And um, yeah, I'll put all those um, product information down below and all of Sue's social media um, links will be down below. And also before I get into the flip through, I just want to remind everyone that Sue has um, generously given subscribers to my channel a 10% discount on your total order over at Paper Inspiration. So if there's something in the products that I've used that you think um, might be great for your projects, then you can always go over and, and purchase those products with the code. And I'll link that code down below also. But anyway, let's get into the flip through. I have absolutely enjoyed creating this journal. It's, um, it's probably worked out better than I could have imagined. So I'm really, really wrapped. I've just got a length of, of natural saris that I'm going to use as my tie. Um, and I have just basically, I, I did receive two paper packs, uh, the ledger and the, oh, I can't think of the names now, but I will link them below. And I received a lot of acetate die cuts and some frame die cuts and in acetate also and I purchased um, some of the, the cardstock die cuts so I'll list link all of that below but yeah I wanted to create a journal that had a really used well-worn well-loved look and I'm just really really pleased with the result uh, the covers were made from corrugated cardboard and then I've taken various elements from all the different kits and I've just done a massive big layer up um, and I've used a lots of textiles, fabrics for my background. I have used a tab binding to bind everything together. Um, it's massive in the mouth, but um, yeah, it's got a really nice sturdy feel. And the back cover, I've again just done a big collage with all the all different elements from all the kits that I have received. And I've just used a few other little bits and pieces from my personal stash too, like some Tim Holtz and so forth, just to fill in some spots. But anyway, this, this journal has got four signatures. They are small signatures, but um, I've used some beautiful... Indian handmade paper and I coffee stained that for my um, signatures. I have machine stitched around just about everything. All the pages have been machine stitched and I've used a lot of very messy machine stitching in my ephemera elements and so forth. So I've also received the, a Stampendous um, butterfly stamp in my kit. So I've done some hand stamping butterflies I've also used um, some other elements that I have in my stash also so I just used a whole um, collection of nature styled botanical themed elements I received the cotton um, um, oh what's this called I've gone blank ruffle cotton ruffle that Sue sent me two different styles so I've used that and I've just put that straight down there um, I've stuck it to the page Primarily because when you close the book, you can see little bits of fabric peeking through, and I really love that. So I have not embellished greatly. I've got I've left a lot of uh, plain papers in the journal, but I have done hand stamping, and then I have um, in the middle sections of each signature. That's a mouthful. I've I've created a tuck pocket. And again, I've gone through and just done a massive big collage with all different elements from all the products that I received. I've used some rub-on as well. I received a pack of rub-ons. So there's different areas throughout the journal where you will see different rub-ons and things. 
I've done some stamping, just all sorts of interest. I just wanted it to be really interesting. Now, inside this pocket, I've made a little tag booklet. So I've taken elements from the mystery box. I've just stamped the word notes and I've cut it up into bits and I've just stuck it all back down. Really messy machine stitching. And then I've just taken some coffee stained paper, sewn it down in the middle of the tag, cut it to the shape. So it's a little tag notebook, which I thought was really sweet. So that one lives inside that tuck pocket there. And on the back side of the... In, in each signature in my middle pages, I have created the pockets. So we've got the long side tuck pocket and then I've got a top loading pocket here. And again, I have just done lots of collaging. Again, there's some of those rub-ons, the beautiful acetate frames. Um, and yeah, the pockets are all made from the paper packs, the cardstock. I call it cardstock because it's such a heavy, really good quality paper but it is patterned paper. So I've used that as all my pocket backgrounds. I've also taken a journal card from the die cut set that I purchased from Sue, and I've just popped those in place. I have left them completely as they are because I think they're beautiful, but you could machine stitch around. You could add them to a collage to create a bigger journal card. They're just plain on the back, but I just didn't do anything to them because I just thought they were beautiful. I've also created just a couple of little scrappy notebooks using the same papers but ink dyeing these with some Tim Holtz Distress ink rather than coffee stain. And I've again used some of the cotton ruffle just as a little tab, pull tab or decoration on the top of those scrappy notebooks. Again, I've used some hand stamping. This is a dark room door stamp also available at in Sue's store. And it is called... I can find it. Leaves. It's just called Leaves, but it's an absolutely beautiful stamp set. Um, so that's the end of the first. Oh no, that. Oh, where are we? I'm getting confused. Yep, here we go. So we've um we're still in the first signature. I've also taken lengths of the cotton ruffle and I've created bookmarks. I've just sewn a little button that's a vintage bake light button. I've sewn onto the top and down the bottom I've um used an eyelet and I've just hung a little um, Tim Holtz token and I just think they work really nicely as as a nice little bookmark. More hand stamping. As you can see, I've machine stitched around all the pages. And then at the end of the first signature and the beginning of the second, I've created these two side tuck pockets, again using the paper pack, or I think this is the ledger one. And using the butterflies from um, the stamp set. So, and inside this one, I've created um, a little envelope. It's a three by four envelope using the patterned paper. So it's a nice, stiff, good quality. And again, mystery box elements, mystery box elements, and some cutter parts. And I've created some little postcards for those to to um, match up with the envelope. So again, I've taken a stamp from the stupendous um or stampendous not stupendous <laughs> stampendous stamp set cut it out put some fiber behind that and just layer that all up together so that goes in that side oh i don't yeah like that and then sue also sent me the sand pool die set uh which is this um specimen slide so i created two Two of the specimen slides using again the elements from the acetate die cut pieces. I did there, I think part three of this video series is creating these specimen slides. So if you're interested in that, I'll link those below. Okay, so again, kept this section plain, so lots of writing space. Um, and then we come to our second side tuck pocket, which again I have just lay it up with as much as possible from all the different packs, all the different elements that I've received. And I've put a little vintage button in there as well. And in this little pocket, I've created a window envelope, altered window envelope with mystery box elements, and lots and lots of hand stamping. I've collaged with some um, coffee stained papers and other bits and pieces. 
And then inside that one, I just created a little, again, tag uh, journal spot. Just simple like that, using, again, a page from the patterned paper kit. And I've just watercolored some um, leaves and cut those out. And I've done a little bit of um, texture paste embossing. And uh, yeah, I think that's us. I, I really, that's probably my favorite piece. I love that little journal, uh, little card. So they sit beautifully in there. And then again, I've got a back pocket. Again, I have done a massive, or well, not a massive, I've done some um, collaging. And this particular collage piece, I've used the rub ons, but I've also used a piece of calico fabric and and sort of rubbed use the rub on on half of that so you've got half of it on calico and half of it on paper so yeah it they're beautiful those rub ons and they will be linked below also again i've created another shabby notebook with the cotton ruffle and i've just put in also another journal card from from the uh, die cut kit the 49er market um nature study die cut kit uh, again, some just some um, hand stamping. Now, this one here is another dark room door stamp called Wildflowers. I'm not sure if Sue does have this one, um, but it would be worth checking out if you if you liked it. Um, again, end of the second signature, beginning of the third, and I've just again created these side tuck pockets using a stamp from the stamp set that I received in my kit. And once again, I've just made another little envelope with um, a piece of the pattern paper and another little um, postcard or mail card, as this one's called. Um, this this leaf a stamp here was from, oh, no, I don't want to say the wrong month, so I won't, but I will say it's from another mystery box that, that was available at Paper Inspirations. I oh, don't know if it was just last month in August. I'd have to check. But anyway... That's the kind of thing you will receive in your mystery boxes should you, if you'd like to start purchasing or subscription to mystery boxes over at Paper Inspirations. So that's just a fun little envelope and a little postcard to match. Well, not to match, but it goes well. And again, in this one here, I have included a couple of the specimen cards again. Just love these specimen cards. This is a beautiful die set from Sam Poole. Uh, and these are a beautiful size. They're about two, two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. So really a great size. Um, and again, we've just got some hand stamping on some plain coffee stained paper. And then we come to our centre section again with another big side tuck pocket, which I've again just used a whole heap of the elements of all the different kits and lots of machine stitching and fabrics and textiles and yeah just made a big a big 3d kind of collage and in this little side tuck pocket i've just made a journal card and a journal card pocket very very simple again using some rub-ons using the stamps from the stamp set using some elements from the die cut kit messy machine stitching and distress ink and then a little bit of the cotton um, ruffled for my pool, for my little, yeah, pool tab. So that one lives in there. And then in the back of this one here, I've again just used elements to make a little bit of a collage. Some watercoloured um, leaves that were, uh, these are the stamp set from the darkroom door leaves. And I've just stamped them onto some, it's not watercolour paper, but it is a textured paper. And I've just watercoloured them up. So they turned out really well. And I have just included, again, another journal card from the um, 49 on the Market Nature Study Die Cut set. And I've left it plain because I think, it, think it's beautiful, but it could be machine stitched around if you wanted to. Just excuse me, I need to cough. <coughs> Some more hand stamping, machine stitched pages, and I've created another bookmark using the second... Uh, designed cotton ruffle that Sue sent me. And this one has a very, very old vintage metal button on it. And again, I've um, attached a eyelet and another Tim Holtz token there. And they just live there. 
Again, end of our third signature, beginning to the fourth. And again, I have just included some of little envelopes and I have cut out some watercolored leaves that I've hand stamped and watercolored. Again, made the envelope from a piece of the patterned paper and some rub on and included another little envelope, um, another little um, postcard there with a, a mushroom acetate piece from 49er Market that I received in my kit as well. So they live in that one there. And in this one, the same thing, another little envelope. This one we actually did do on camera and it's got some rub on, some elements, acetate butterfly. And again, I have hand stamped one of the butterflies from the set and made another little, a little insert for that envelope. So they live all happily together there. And then we're into the fourth signature. This is where it starts to get a little hard to, to turn because it's really chunky. Hand stamping another side tuck pocket where once again I have just layered up as much as I possibly could with some texture, textiles and machine stitching and hand stamping and all sorts of different bits and pieces there. And in this pocket I've made another little... Um, window envelope i've collaged it i've hand stamped it with all various stock types of um nature themed or leaves um stamps i've done some rub-ons backed it onto some coffee stain paper and inside of this one i've just taken some of the packaging actually and i've cut a, a tag i've used an element from the mystery box uh, another hand, uh, another watercolor leaf watercolored leaf and just made a journal tag for that one so that one lives inside of here like that so you can see it poking through and then that one lives inside oh, if i can get it in there this side tuck pocket here flip it over and in this pocket at the back again i've done a whole heap of collage again building it up as much as I could and I've created a larger postcard with um, the butterfly stamping from the set and I've just um, yeah machine stitched down an acetate butterfly and popped that on the front and I've used patterned paper from the 49er market paper packs that I received and I made this one on camera or, or and I showed this um, how to make this style of ephemera piece on camera it's just a zigzag pocket with a flip out secret journal spot. And I've again, I've made some little tags just with some off cut, done some hand stamping, just some nice little thin skinny tags. And I've just popped in there again, some leftover elements that were um, from the two die cut kits that I received. And at the top here, I've made another tall skinny tag just with a little bit of hand stamping and a big uh, moth and a piece of film strip. So they, now you can leave those in the pocket. You could attach them to your page. Um, yeah, these are a really great idea. And I did show how to do them on camera in part number three of this series, I think it was. So we are just going to leave that one to live in this pocket with this postcard here. Just like that. And then la, um, some more plain car journaling spots, just some coffee stained paper. And on the very last page, I have again stuck down one of the cotton ruffles just on the edge so that that little bit of flat fabric peeks out through there as well. So I don't know how many pages. There's four signatures and I think I had four pages in each signature. So there's not. it's not huge in the amount of pages but because it's <laughs> there's a lot of um thick elements in there so it's quite a big journal but beautiful nonetheless and um yeah a lovely lovely set of products to work with the 49 and market are just beautiful this is the first time i've ever used them but it certainly will not be the last so um as i said if you're interested in any of the products that I have used in my design team project, 
then um, yeah, please go over to Paper Inspirations and have a look. And don't forget to use that discount code, which will be linked in the description box below. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this flip through. It's been such a pleasure to work with this um, with these products. And um, thank you, Sue, so much for all that you do for me and all of the lovely things that you send me. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Friday. Wow, it's just been an incredible week this week. Um, lots and lots going on, lots and lots to do with mum. So I will explain that as the next week comes and goes. But yeah, just a overload of information, let's say. All right, guys, please enjoy your day. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.